In this short video, we'll show you how to lower the cost of storage and at the same time improve the performance of your database using DB2 row compression. DB2 provides comprehensive compression for almost every type of database object, including table data, indexes, temporary tables, XML documents, lob columns, and backup images. DB2 even keeps the data compressed in the buffer pools and log files, reducing the memory consumption of your database. As part of this video, you will see how to estimate the savings from row compression, how to enable row compression, and why DB2 compression can mean faster performance. This video uses the Technology Explorer for IBM DB2 a demonstration system connected to a live DB2 database. For the purpose of this demonstration, we will create a sample table and populate it with several hundred thousand rows of data joined together from several catalog tables. This will simulate customer address records. Before enabling compression, you can see the physical size of our address table and its index by using the admin get tab info and admin get index info administrative routines. You can also estimate the storage savings by using a table function called admin get tab compress info and admin get index compress info. In this case, we are going to reduce the storage required for the table by around 64% and for the indexes by around 57%. You can enable compression on existing tables using the alter table and alter index commands and then reorganize the data and indexes. Usually the table should have at least one meg of raw data to get the full benefit of compression. The actual compression turns out to be almost exactly the same as our estimate. The compression estimation in DB2 helps you choose the tables and indexes that will give you the most benefit and cost savings from compression. You can also turn on compression as soon as you create a table using the automatic compression option in the create table command. All new indexes will also be automatically compressed. The compression dictionary is created as soon as there is enough data in the table. This step has the same result as the previous one except there is no need to reorganize existing data. Using the two tables we created, one with compression and one without, we will now run some performance tests. The first two statements compare selects with an order by clause. Including the order by ensures that each row in the table is loaded into the buffer pool for sorting and that each row is uncompressed. Even in this case, the table with compression performs better than the one without. While there is slightly more time taken by the CPU to process the compressed table, the number of I.O. page reads is dramatically lower. Even in this small example, this means overall faster performance for compressed tables. The benefit only increases with larger tables and I.O. intensive queries, especially those found in business intelligence applications. Index compression can also help performance. Just as compression reduced I.O. in the last test, compression can also help the performance of indexes. In this case, we are running a SELECT with a WHERE clause against each table. The WHERE clause ensures that the indexes are used. In the same 5 second period, the statement ran 11 times against the uncompressed table and index, while it ran 82 times for the compressed table and compressed index. This video demonstrated DB2 data row compression as well as index compression. You can easily estimate compression savings and enable set and forget automatic compression. You also saw how row compression can mean faster performance. DB2 compression can save you money by saving time and storage.